How are you doing? Um, well, this is going to be a bit different from my last uh, last vlog. I'm doing a quick film photography vlog, um, recommending a camera which I feel might be of interest to people getting into film photography. Um, this is a basic point and shoot, uh, as easy to use as a digital camera. In fact. Um, yeah, it's the, uh, it's a Konica, or Konica, however you say it. It's the uh, Z-Up 70 Super. Uh, I'll get down and get up close and personal in a, in a sec. Yeah, I've got another film photography vlog coming up uh, in the next 10 days or so. And as I speak, uh, I've got something wending its way from Japan which I'm very excited about and it's something that I've been wanting for a while. And uh, I thought I might do it as a sort of uh, unboxing video. A uh, bit naff I know these unboxing things but I thought people who might have considered buying a camera from Japan and wondered about what exactly you might be getting about import duties, if if any, etc. Then uh, to see what you get, then uh, I thought it'll be interesting. So, yeah, so I'm quite excited and looking forward to this uh, this camera when it arrives from Japan. It's supposedly next Wednesday, they're saying, which is quite quick. So, let's see. Anyway, back to the camera in hand. This is the Konica. It's came out about 99, which is right on the cusp of the digital cameras. I mean, this sort of camera, they were sold in the millions. Uh, you know, everybody made them, tens of millions, hundreds of millions. Everybody made them. I've got a ginger cat playing with the cord here. Come here. <laughs> he loves playing with the cord, my, this ginger cat of mine. I've got two ginger cats. Um, yeah, there were ten, hundreds of millions of these turned, churned out. They were just point and shoot, plastic autofocus. Um, you know the type if you're of a certain age. If you're a young person, you probably won't re recognise these. You'll be saying, what the hell is that? Well, yeah, these were all what your parents had, <laughs> basically, if you're very young. And um, this one in particular, the Konica, or Konica, I can never know how you say it, is... Um, it's a nice little camera and if you're getting into film photography and you want an easy way in then this is idiot proof it really is i'll get down in a second show you yeah let's get down and have a look at it start this again well there it is just basic plastic construction sturdy um well made it uses the uh oh, what battery does it use now I'll check. I'll put that on the screen. The battery it uses. It might be the uh, the six sixty six. Is it or is it just a, an AAA battery? I'll I'll put that up on the screen. I'm not hundred percent sure what the battery it is. But anyway, you switch it on. Power. It's got three times zoom. It goes from thirty five to seventy. Now the modes are quite interesting. It's quite quite sophisticated, really. There's your mode mode button. Go through the modes. You've got flash, a ten second delay, a portrait in subdued lights, a switch off flash, and this is interesting. You've got a white balance. You've got a white balance button and landscape. So you can just flick easily press the mode button, and it goes through each mode in turn. Now, to put a film in the camera, it's simplicity itself. Just open the back, put the film in here, drag it across to, there should be a line, yeah, film tip, it tells you where the film tip goes, film tip. Close the back and it automatically advances. At the end of the film, it uh, automatically rewinds back into the cassette. And so <laughs> you don't have to do anything. Just pop the film in, drag it across, close the back, take the film, take all your shots, and then it'll rewind back and then just pop the film out. And it's easy as pie. You couldn't get any easier. 
Uh, quality wise, the quality is not bad actually. Uh, I'll show you some of mine, but uh, there's, a, there's a proviso. These were some of the first colour photographs that I developed, and uh, let's, let's pan back up again. Yeah, let's come back up. Yeah, uh, I'll show you some shots, but these were the, some of the, uh, the very first colour photographs which I had developed. I've done black and white. I mean, I've, I learned to do black and white developing more years ago than I can remember. But only in the last year or so I got into uh, colour developing, which if you have never done it, oh, it's, right, yeah, if you've never done develop, colour developing before, then it's, uh, it's easy. It's hardly, no more difficult really than black and white. So uh, these were filmed on out-of-date film. Um, early, as I say, one of my first attempts at colour developing and uh, scanned on the most basic Epson uh, 370 scanner. So they're not going to be as uh, sharp and, sl and professional as if you'd take them to a lab, a professional photo lab. But uh, if you want other examples, if you go on the Lomography organisation page, they have photographs from every camera under the sun. So go on the Lomography page, Google it, it's the main site for low, for cameras, and uh, there's some good examples of uh, photographs taken uh, on this. I'll put a link on the on the uh, page at the bottom of the page, and um, yeah. So there you have it. It's a bog standard point and shoot, uh, dead easy to use, dead cheap. I mean, this was I bought this as part of a job. A lot of well, three cameras untested uh, you're gonna get a lot of bargains out there because a lot of people who are not into photography are not going to sp spend money on a film and development on the off chance that uh, to confirm whether it's working or not they're just going to sell it as spares or repair or untested so there's a lot most of these cameras I think untested are going to be okay I mean you take a chance but buy an untested camera you're going to be paying peanuts for it anyway so I paid seven quid for three cameras two of which were fine um, one was an old digital which I didn't need anyway but the uh, in fact I did a review of the other one uh, the Nikon AF I think it was and that this was the other one in the batch so and they're both fine good little cameras so yeah if you're getting into film photography uh, and you want something easy to practice with uh, not a bad camera to start with, or to have as a, in your as a spur if you got uh, using SLRs, etc. Okay, yeah. So the next photographic film photography vlog I'm going to do, well, providing it comes okay, fingers crossed, will be the Mamiya 645 medium format. So that's as I say, that's on its way from Japan as we speak. So. Uh, I'll get back to you when that arrives. Okay, I hope you're keeping well and uh, catch you soon. See ya.